friends, Miss Cassie here with Solon Public Library's Digital Storytime. <laughs> this week, we're going to talk some more about opposites. We are going to talk about things that are near and things that are far. So near means things that are close, close to you, and far are things that are at a distance or farther away. But first we have to start with our welcome song like we always do. So we're going to wiggle our fingers and shake our hands and rub them together really fast, really fast, really fast. Then put them on our knees. Okay, you can sing along. The words are right here. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. All right, who remembers what we do after we clap our hands? That's right, we stomp our feet. Here we go. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. If you want to read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. All right, what comes next? That's right, we're going to twirl around. If you want to read a book, twirl around. If you want to read a book, twirl around. If you want to read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you want to read a book, twirl around. All right, now that you're all dizzy, we're gonna sit back down. And for our last verse, we're gonna be as quiet as we can. And we're gonna whisper, hooray. If you wanna read a book, whisper, hooray, hooray. If you wanna read a book, whisper, hooray, hooray. If you wanna read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you wanna read a book, whisper, hooray, hooray. Good job, friends. Okay, before we read our first book, we are going to sing our opposite song. The words are right here. We'll go over the actions together first. So we've got big, big, big stretch out as wide as you can. And then small, 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 bring your hands really close together. And then short, 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 crouch down. <laughs> and then tall, 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 stretch up as high as you can. And then with your arms, fast, fast, fast. And slow, slow, slow. And then nod your head for yes. And shake your head for no. Okay, we're going to put it in the song. <clears throat> this is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. This is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, this is no. All right, we're going to do it one more time. Here we go. This is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. This is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, this is no. Yay, good job. Okay, our first book today is called Puppy is Lost. And it's written by Harriet Ziefert uh, with art by Noah Woods. Here we go, Puppy is Lost. Let's see, do any of you have any pets at home? Any puppies or kitties or birds or guinea pigs? There's all kinds of different pets you can have. Fish, I, most of you know, I have five puppies at home. Just five, only five. <laughs> all right, let's read about Max's puppy. Max's puppy is lost. She was here and now she is gone. Oh no. Hey puppy, come home for dinner called Max, and Puppy thought, where am I? Max was here, and now he's gone. 
Oh, they are far away from each other. Max looked everywhere for Puppy. Under the bushes, behind the trash bins, and near the sandbox. Do you see Puppy? I don't see Puppy either. But he could not find Puppy anywhere. So he walked home alone. How do you think Max is feeling right now? He has his eyes are down and his head is down. He's missing his puppy. I think he feels sad. Max had no appetite. He could not even eat dessert. Oh, and look, dessert is a cake. That's the best kind of dessert. In the middle of the night, Max had a scary dream. He could not go back to sleep. Has that happened to you before? It's happened to me. It can be scary even though it's not real. Max got out of bed and sat down at his desk. He made lost dog posters. Lots of them. Here is one of them. I lost my dog. Her name is Puppy. She is small and brown and friendly. Here's another one. Have you seen my dog? I really miss her. She is not just an ordinary puppy. She is my best friend. Here's one more. If you see my puppy, please call me. My name is Max. My dog is Puppy, and she looks like this. Call. Max hung the posters near his house and near the park. Then he walked home. Puppy wandered in circles, but she couldn't find Max. She's thinking, I'm sniffing everywhere, but nothing smells familiar. Why doesn't Max come and get me? I'm tired and hungry. Which way to where I lost saw, last saw Max? So they're looking for each other. Max was sad and lonely. He waited for news of his lost dog. He waited and waited. Then the phone rang, but the call was for dad. It was not news about puppy. Look at the phone they have in their house. Do you know what that kind of phone is called? It's called a rotary phone. And it's different than cell phones. It doesn't have like a touch screen. It has a rotary on the front and that was how you would dial phone numbers. We, yeah, most places don't have those kinds of phones anymore. <laughs> when the doorbell rang, it was Max's friend Lucy. Max told her puppy was lost. I'll help you look for her, said Lucy. Okay, said Max. Let's look for puppy in the park. So they go off to the park. There were lots of dogs in the park, but none of them were lost. Look at all these dogs running around. Bark, ruff, woof, 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 ruff, ruff, woof, bark. That sounds loud. <laughs> I have an idea, said Max. Let's just go to where I last saw Puppy. We can just wait there. Puppy was tired of wandering. She thought, I'm going back to the spot where I last saw Max. Oh, that sounds good. They're far apart. Do you think they're going to get closer together? Max waited for Puppy. And Puppy waited for Max. Uh-oh, they're in different places. They're still far away. But then when Puppy picked up Max's scent, she took off in the direction of the smell. Max recognized Puppy's bark and ran to meet her. Woof! Now you're not a lost puppy, said Max. You are found. And look, he put his leash on her and he brought her home. The end. Oh, I'm so glad that Max and puppy found each other, aren't you? For most of the book, they were far apart. They were in different places. They couldn't find each other. But then they got closer and closer together until they were reunited. Yay!
All right, I have my friend Gerald here. You probably recognize him from the Elephant and Piggy books, which are all about Gerald the Elephant and his friend Piggy the Pig. <laughs> so Gerald here has lost Piggy. He doesn't know where she is. She's hiding in one of these books. How many books do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six books. Let's see if we can help Gerald find Piggy. Do you think she's hiding in this book? What color is this book? That's right, it's purple. Is Piggy hiding in the purple book? Nope, no Piggy. How many books do we have left? One, two, three, four, five. Five books. Let's see. Is Piggy hiding in this book? What color is this book? That's right, it's yellow. Is Piggy hiding in the yellow book? Let's see. Nope, no Piggy. Okay, how many books do we have left? One, two, three, four. Four books. Let's see, where do we think she could be? Is she hiding in this book? What color is this book? That's right, it's red. Is Piggy hiding in the red book? Let's see. <gasps> Look, there's Piggy. She was hiding in the red book. All right, let's play again. Okay, which book is Piggy hiding in? How many books are we looking at again? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six books. Let's see. Could Piggy be hiding in this book? What color is this book? That's right, it's green. Is Piggy hiding in the green book? Let's see. Nope, no Piggy. How many books do we have left? One, two, three, four, five. Five books. Let's see. Could Piggy be hiding in this book? What color is this book? That's right, it's blue. Let's see if Piggy is hiding in the blue book. Nope, no Piggy. How many books do we have left? One, two, three, four. Four books. Hmm, let's see. Is Piggy hiding in this book? What color is this book? That's right, it's yellow. Is Piggy hiding in the yellow book? Let's see. Nope, no Piggy. Okay, we're getting closer. How many books do we have left? One, two, three. Three books. Let's see. Could Piggy be hiding in this book? What color is this book? That's right, it's orange. Is Piggy hiding in the orange book? Let's see. Oh, there she is. Good job, friends. Give yourselves a pat on the back. We did it. We found Piggy. Whoops, and now Piggy and Gerald are back together again. <laughs> Yay! Speaking of things that are far away from where we are, the moon and outer space is far away from where we are on planet Earth. So next we're gonna sing one of my favorite songs, Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. The words are right here. And we need to get our rocket ships going. These are our rocket ships. And then we're gonna climb aboard the rocket ship. Can you make your arm like a ladder? Yep, so rocket ships and then climb aboard. And then we'll count down from five, four, three, Two, one, and blast off. Blast off, there you go. Okay, get your rocket ships going. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. 
If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> All right, next we're gonna go to the sun. And you know what rhymes with sun is fun. So here we go. Fun, 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 we're going to the sun. Fun, 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 we're going to the sun. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Fun, 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 we're going to the sun. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! All right, next we're gonna go to the stars. Far, far, far. Far, 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 we're going to the stars. Far, 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 we're going to the stars. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Far, 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 we're going to the stars. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! All right, and then we need to finish with a silly one. Let's see. Should we go all the way out to Pluto? It's not a real planet anymore, it's a dwarf planet, and it's very far out in outer space. So let's do Pluto. What silly word rhymes with Pluto? Mm, Bluto, I think we've done that one in story time before. <laughs> Are you ready? Bluto, 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 we're going to Pluto. Bluto, 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 we're going to Pluto. Bluto, 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 we're going to Pluto. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Bluto, 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 we're going to Pluto. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> Yay! Okay, we have our last book for today. And look, it takes place in outer space. It's called Harry and Horsey, written by Katie Van Camp with pictures by Lincoln Agnew. Hmm, let's see. Which character do you think is Harry? And which character do you think is Horsey? Where do you think they're gonna go on their adventure? Let's find out. It was way past bedtime, but Harry wasn't tired. Neither was Horsey. The moon was keeping them awake. It was shining on the shelf where Harry's brand new super duper bubble blooper had been put away for the night. Come on, Harry whispered. Wherever Harry went, Horsey went too. So they crept across the room. Harry knew exactly how to get his bubble blooper down. And of course, Horsey helped him. What is he doing? Look, he made a stack of toys and he's climbing up the toys to get his bubble blooper. Oh, it's like a blaster. That's what the bubble blooper is. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Soon bubbles of all shapes and sizes filled Harry's room. Bloop, bloop. They bounced off the ceiling and bumped into the walls. Then a bubble picked up Harry's train and bloop, floated it right out the window. Uh-oh, how's he gonna get it back? Harry laughed as he chased the bubbles. More of them scooped up his cars and his planes and his shoes. Bloop went his books and bloop went his whirly gigs. And then all of a sudden, a giant bubble blooped and swept up. What do you think the bubble took? <gasps> Horsey and carried him up and away. Oh no, look at how far these bubbles have traveled. They're already in outer space. There was no time to lose. Harry 
put on his helmet and grabbed his goggles. What do you think he's going to do? He's holding a rocket. Hmm. Sure enough, then he jumped aboard his rocket ship and took off to find his friend. Harry blasted past Venus and did a loop around Mars, but there was no sign of Horsey. Harry didn't find Horsey on Saturn either, but he did find his cars. They were racing around Saturn's rings, tearing toward the finish line. Go red, Harry cheered. Then he took off for the Milky Way. When he arrived, he saw something moving among the stars, but it wasn't Horsey. It was Kitty. She was having a lovely time in space with milk drops on her whiskers and stardust on her face. Have you seen Horsey? Harry asked. Kitty shook her head and mewed. She looks like she's having a great time. Harry was really starting to worry. He missed Horsey. Then, in the distance, so far away, Harry saw something on the edge of the crescent moon. He looked closer. Could it be? What do you think? Does that look like Horsey? Horsey! There's Horsey! Hold on, I'm coming! Fast, super fast, way too fast. Harry steered clear of a comet and swooped around a satellite. He's going so fast. Look, the colors are streaking in the picture. He's going so fast. When at last he arrived, Harry jumped onto the moon and slid down to rescue his friend. Harry was very happy to see Horsey. And Horsey was happy to see Harry, too. Let's head home now, Harry said, hugging Horsey tight. Next time we go on an adventure, let's go together, okay? Horsey liked that idea. Look, they're back in bed. Because wherever Harry went, Horsey went too. The end. Let's see, let's look at that last picture. Do you think they really went on that space adventure? Or maybe, could it have been just a dream? Who knows? Friends, it's the end of our story time this week. So we're gonna sing our goodbye song. And the words are just right here if you wanna sing along. <clears throat> we read a book, then we played a game, and we sang a song together. We read a book, and we played a game. We had a fun adventure. Now go read a book, and go play a game, and sing a little tune. Go read a book, and go play a game. We'll see Thanks for listening.